another transmitter, it's another kit. It's the NRG PLL Pro 3. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another transmitter video. So as you've just seen, we've got our PLL Pro 3. But over here is one I made many years ago. Well, probably about 15, 20 years ago. Still works, but it's still a Pro 3, but there's a few slight differences. So let's have a look at a new one. Build it up and see how we get on. Okay, so let's take a look at our kit. Out the bag. Ah, nice circuit board there. Very nice. Our instructions. Some bags of bits here. Got our resistors there, capacitors, ferrites and chokes there. Got our transistors. Yeah, very nice. Right, so we have our instructions. Let's see what's first on the list. And of course, it's our good old resistors. So let's sort them out and get them on there. Well, first of all, we need to find R1, which is 47R. And looking on the board here, where you do need glasses sometimes. There it is there, R1. There's our first resistor, it goes right there. Okay, let's find it. Right, so far never on our last resistor. Let's get him on there. Now we've got to solder all that up. Yeah, let's get it soldered. There we are, the resistors all fitted, all soldered up and trimmed up in the back. Lovely. And there's quite a few to do, so we've ticked them off all the way along. But now we're ready to start our capacitors. So let's start on them. Right, so let's sort our capacitors out. There's quite a few to go through, so let's uh, sort them out. So that's our capacitors all sorted out. And grab our paperwork. And we've got on there C1, so 101J. And have a look on our board. And that C1. So let's find it and get it on there. about halfway through on our capacitors now. There we are on there. And I'm just going to solder all that up on the banks, get a bit messy on there, and then we carry on. There 
we go, that's all our capacitors fitted. Lovely. Right, so next on there, we have a purple trimmer and a variable resistor. There they are. Got a little ferrite beads. They have five windings. I've just done this one. I've got to do the last one now, so I have my ferrite bead. And we have the SWGY. So let's wind the last one. There we are. Both ferrite beads are wound, five windings on each one. I've already cleaned the legs up on that one. I still need to do that one, otherwise the solder won't take. And we'll get them on there. Ones that go on there, and ones that go on there. Right now for an RF choke, which has a ferrite bead on each side of the leg. Okay, so we've just got two more ferrites to go on. Nice them finished. So now I think we're starting our diodes. There's a list of them there. I can see a few in the bag already. So we'll get them on there and make sure we get them around the right way. You can see on that, on D3, there's a line there. You can't get around, just look at the line on there. Perfect, let's get that on there. Take me right back building one of these in years. Absolute years. There we are. We'll get him soldered. So we've got all our diodes on there. We're just going to get our LEDs on there now. Time to get some transistors on there. So I think there's about four different types here. Uh, so we'll sort through them and we'll get them on there.
right, so now we've got to make some air coils. Over here, we've got our right size drill bits, got our SWG wire, so let's want some coils. Right, so there we go, all 11 coils are made. Now it's time to get them on there. Right, so we're getting very close to finishing our build now. All we've got left is our 239 socket, phono socket, couple of heat sinks, set of ICs, two dip switches for adjusting their frequency, and of course, our fuse. So, let's finish it off. Let's get our bit switches on there. Right, so now we're down to our final transistors. Main output transistors, so we can put them on. Put our heat sinks on too. Right, so all we have left is our set of ICs. Let's get them on there, shall we? Right, there's four of our ICs on. They're a little bit fiddly, so I didn't bother filming it. Because if you haven't already, you would have fallen asleep. But yeah, one more to go. So there we are, build's complete. We just need some power cable, but I found these first. Got some little, little legs here. I'll just pop them on. So let's get some power cable on there. So we've got a bit of wire around, let's strip a bit of that off, and it goes straight to the plus and minus there. But also, we've got a little dummy load here. I'm just gonna put that in so we don't forget later on when we switch it on. There we are. So we finished our build of the NRG Pro 3. Now we need to set our frequency on these two switches here. Now we've got a frequency lookup chart. I've marked it there at 102. So we'll set these in the right on off position and then we'll power it up. Okay, so we're wired up to the power supply now. We've got a little dummy load in there and we've got a little jumper pin here we're gonna take out. So it operates on low power. Uh, with that in, we should see an output of about four watts, but we'll test that out in a bit. Okay, let's switch it on. So we've got a red LED on this, we've got a 12 volts coming in, and we've also got a red LED on here, so we're not locked on frequency. Uh, you won't see any RF output until this green LED is on here when you're locked on. So we need to adjust VC1 here until this flashes on. So we need to turn this very slowly. There we are, doesn't take much at all. Okay, so we're locked on frequency now. Let's uh, get our frequency counter. So there we are, it is working. Pretty much one on 102. Not bad. So we'll wire this up to a power meter now and see what it's doing. So we're all wired up to the power meter now. Frequency counts is running. Let's switch it on. Wait for a green LED. And then we should see our power go up on the meter. There we are. So we've got our frequency there. 
pretty much 102. And looking at the 5 watt scale, right at the very bottom, there's about one and a half there. That's not bad at all, is it really? Not bad. And we looked on the frequency. Perfect. Right, so we'll try it with our jumper pin in now and see what power we get on there. So our jumper pin's fitted, switch it back on, and it locks up, for the power, there we go, so now we're doing just under four and a half watts, that's not bad is it, not bad at all. So our transmitter's all up and running, uh, back on our low power setting, putting out about one and a half watts. We're all wired up to my laptop now, test the audio. So I push play on here, we should hear the audio. our build of the NRG Pro 3. Not bad. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy the circuit board, the ICs and the transistors. Yeah, enjoyed that. And again, that'll be a very good driver board for powering an amplifier. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hopefully see you on the next one.